You should what? unpack this because it's something I don't want to harp on. What at are we all. unpacking? We're the whole Jax situation. Uh, oh, um, yeah. collective. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because you know we're getting a lot of you know um, hatred towards us yeah. because of our mm-hmm. involvement with you know Jax. Um, <laughs> and then I guess he his publicist made a statement saying because we we had said on the show Monday mm-hmm. that yeah you know because of what's going down with all that cast and everything. He uh, texted and said, look, I think it's smart for me to step down. Mm -hmm. And we're like, yes, you know, that is the only thing we can do right now. And it sucks. And, Mm -hmm. um, and it's very big of him to like, uh, like get that, you know? Right. Um, But then the publicists and managers get involved in lawyers and just threw the biggest wrench in everything and basically said, I was lying why that not? he's stepping down. I'm would like, you like me to um, uh, to the quote that they released? Would you like? Oh yeah, me yeah. To what tell what was their quote? Okay. Um, last week, the Just Add X website had been hacked, showcasing some hateful slurs, which Jax felt horrible about. In an emotional state, Jax had texted Lance and the Just Add X team, offering to step down from the company if that was the direction they wanted to take. The team immediately followed up with a phone call and with Lance and the team. Uh, reassured and fully supported him. Um, it was decided that Jax would continue to stay on the team and uh, that they all had his back given these unpredictable times. Yeah. So. Well, you want to know what really went down? <laughs> I would love yes. to know what really went down. Look, I'm going to preface this right now because I know we have a lot of new listeners here. Yeah. Um, uh, so I do not think Jax Taylor is a racist. Right. Or mm-hmm. a homophobe. No. Um, and I've said that millions of times. I would not be acquaintances with someone right, if right. if I thought you were a flat out racist or homophobe. It mm-hmm. just doesn't make sense. The yeah. whole reason I married him and his wife last summer was because, mm-hmm. you know, I thought it was a great statement because I was replacing their gay preacher. Right. No, they're, so you mean they're, homophobic. They're homophobic. homophobic. Sorry, preacher. Preacher, sorry. <laughs> no, they replaced them with a gay preacher. That's yes. right. Sorry. They replaced yes. the homophobic, which he might have been gay. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, to me, that was a, a statement. And I thought it was big of them to want to make that statement. Right. right? Because, look, I, we've known Jax for a long time. Yeah, I mean, 15 years. You know? And we've always said he's the lovable, lovable douchebag, right? But he just yeah. says, like, the stupidest <laughs> things. He does. And so when we... So my friend James came up with this idea for Just Add X, our, mm-hmm. our mixer line. And this was two years ago. And he brought it up because he, James is the one who introduced me to him back, mm-hmm. you know, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. And he realized, wow, he's like on the show, Jax is looking great. Like he yeah. looks reformed mm-hmm. and all that past stuff of cheating and all that. You know, he's got a great fiance now. They're getting mm-hmm. married. He's mm-hmm. so pleasant to be around. Zero drama. Right. Like nothing. Like he he changed, yeah. he turned his life around. Yes. And we all saw it. We all watched it, you know, mm-hmm. on television. So that's when uh, James was like, this is now your opportunity to show that you're, you've grown up. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, take responsibility. Um, you're an adult. Mm-hmm. Now you need to show the world that, you know, you can have your own company and, and right. you're looking for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we thought this would be a great idea, you know, for mm-hmm. him and, and to show this growth. Yeah. You know, on television, like show the growth. It was him, so right? nice to see. Yeah. You know, it, it, it really was. And so, you know, I was happy to back him and believe mm-hmm. in him. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I always want his, you know, the best things for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but then this season started Aaron Oof. and he reverted back to the same crap he was, you know, spewing. Mm-hmm. Um, I obviously have not heard anything racist come out of his mouth. Mm-mm. Um, I, I mean, I've heard tweets cause mm-hmm. I'm still confused exactly the, the exact tweets everyone's pissed about. Okay, I, I could tell you. Yeah. Okay. My, cause, Michael knows. Turkey. Cause Turkey. All I know, this is all I know. Right. Never heard him say a racist thing. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. except the big nose thing recently. Which all, and that wasn't even that recently. So okay. what that was, mm-hmm. was what we just found out recently. I mean, at least I did and everyone well, else did. It co- probably got attention it, yes. because so of everything. So he loves on. the show 90 Day Fiance. Right. So mm-hmm. one of the women on 90 Day Fiance and her fiance, um, <laughs> he was trolling her page. And she even said like she was he was harassing them a lot, like giving them tweets and comments, oh. even though he doesn't know them. That's weird. Um, and one of the comments he wrote just under a photo of them two together, like smiling, was your boyfriend's nose looks as big as his head Mm -hmm. and you don't say that 
first of all, you shouldn't say that about anyone. That's right. just rude. Yeah, Especially 100%. that's the only thing you're commenting. Like you're 40 something years old. Like really, that's what you're going to, you're, mm-hmm. you're not 10 years old. But the fact that he, you, you don't, as a white man, you just can't nonchalantly say that to a black man, mm-hmm. especially knowing all of the, you know, the racist history that comes along with white people demeaning black people because mm-hmm. of their physical features, features, yeah. which, you know, and, just know and making them seem like less civilized because they have different features. There's a whole historical, you yes. know, context mm-hmm. to this. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he still said it at 40. And then on top of that, as you had your conversation, Lance with him, you know, when this first went down, when he, when he was kind of flipping the script and being mm-hmm. like, well, I'm not dropped. I don't want to back down now. Well, his manager and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you even said, you said to him, I was, I heard the phone conversation and you mm-hmm. said like, Jax, you don't understand. Like you're not learning from your past mistakes. Right. That's you're not what growing. people want to see. Yeah. yeah. They want to see like, your growth. It's like that, you continue, yeah. you, you said biphobic things about Ariana again after already doing it in past seasons and already being told again Mm -hmm. that you can't say that but you still did it again and that's narcissism that's narcissism right there and it shows that you're not actually trying to evolve and better yourself which Mm -hmm. is one of which is what you told Lance uh Jax he must do if he wants to be part of this business Mm -hmm. he needs to prove to the world and use this as a tool to show that he's grown as a person he's not going to resort back to that stupid bs Mm -hmm. and then on top of that when you sat on the conversation because I heard the whole thing it was on speakerphone um you said and this thing you made about the comment about the nose like that's not okay like mm-hmm. he's like do what lance said like i don't think you're racist i don't think you said that with the intent of being racist right but what you said is racist yeah, and right. you have to understand that just because you don't you're not heart is not we within have to racism things you have to, you can't just you can't you, you can't, can't just promote it's, it's like using the word things. retarded we yeah. all know that's you know you don't use that anymore. No. And if you don't know that at this point, then that's just your ignorance. Your ignorance. Mm-hmm. And, and it shows you said the comment, you know, you mm-hmm. can't say that. And then his p- publicist hops on the phone. And it like, says, well, well, he says, well, how is that a bad thing? And you said, well, and you explained why. And his publicist then pops up oh, God. and says, well, I'm Jewish and uh, I, we have big noses. That's not offensive. Then Jax was like, yeah, exactly. And then, Wow, Lance, so that sounds like a shitty yeah, team. Right exactly. There. Oh, that's see, that's the that's downfall. his downfall. He's yeah. yes people around him. Because so, here, let me let me explain how all this went. But down. before that, oh, yeah. and then you said, like, no, are you kidding me, publicist lady? I don't know who you are. Uh, um, like the fact that you just said that, you're excusing mm-hmm. racist mm-hmm. speak. You're yep. spe- and yep. and it's not okay to say to Jews as a Jewish person. Like that was used against Jewish people during World War II, especially mm-hmm. in Germany. You had caricatures of Jewish people with giant noses yep. and big ears yeah. looking like little trolls trying to steal your money and steal your business. And so there's context behind that. Right. And you can't right. repeat that now and think right. it's okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And, and that is the thing. Uh, and what I've noticed around so many people, especially celebrities, it's the people you surround yourself that yeah. get you in trouble. Right. Um, if you're going to put yes people around you, you're going nowhere. No, well, you have to call, like I've called you out a uh, few yeah, times. You have to yeah. be, and you have to own it, own mm-hmm. it. Uh, um, it. you have to, I mean, you know, we all are ignorant. We're just, yeah, totally. just it, like, we are all ignorant. Well, everyone's something. ignorant until you learn. Right. Exactly. I'm often wrong about a lot of things, yeah. you know, I, mean, I just, yeah. I have to it's say part of life. <laughs> it is part of life, but it's, it's how you deal with it and how you learn from it. I think that's what people want to see. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, these people are to blame, but at the end of the day, he is to blame yeah. for the things he's done. Exactly. Yeah. And he's yeah. repeated this behavior for years now. Mm-hmm. We've all known he's a jackass. Like that's his character on TV. We all know mm-hmm. that. We all know he's kind of an asshole and that's his thing. Mm-hmm. But when you now repeat like homophobic things and now when you start getting to racial things and you're still standing by that and yeah. defending yourself and you're not falling on the sword and as you should and be like, I'm so wrong, just apologize. Yeah. He hasn't done that, which no. shows he cares more about his own ego than doing yeah. the right thing. And you can't have that in a business partner. You no. just can't. No. Like it's just, it's it would be ma- it would make you hypocritical, Lance, as someone who's always championing uh, equality yep. and racial right. justice, and it would be ridiculous. It's a, like a moral thing. I'm at this an point. activist. That's not I how can't you be are. hypocritical. Know, and, yeah. it's, and it's and to be honest, it's made you look bad enough to even be associated with Jacks up to I this know. point. So I mean, I I know this is all just a lot of words, but <laughs> um, but I mean, hopefully that answers questions out there. I mean, I'm an open book. Uh, I want to do the right thing. I'm trying to do the right thing. I make bad decisions. I'm ignorant. A lot of stupid things. I should have known better. Uh, but I'm just trying to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Just trying to do the right thing here. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's all anybody can do at this yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And- 
I, I do agree. Like I've, for me personally, I've seen a lot of friends who have said ignorant things and that kind of thing, but I've taken a stand for my life. Like I need to get those people out of my life. Cause yeah. I just, cause yeah. being complicit is not, yeah. it's not cool anymore. and that's what we're all learning right now is yeah. the complicitness that we all have in so mm -hmm. many different areas yeah. you know mm -hmm. um we're finally realizing wait a minute we yeah. we can't do that and i know half the time it's because you don't think you can um that you can change anything mm -hmm. or that you can help in any way yeah like, no mm -hmm. one's listening to me yeah no one's right. gonna listen to what i have to say so we get caught in that but it's not true no. You know, you have to stand up, even if it's just your circle listening to what you have to say, that is helping. Yeah, just mm -hmm. educate. And if they can't hear it, then you know what? Bye. Time to move See you on. Later. So, yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, this, you know, got dramatic, but like, I have to defend myself. Once someone calls me a liar, I got to, you know, tell well, you yeah, that's what not happened. Cool. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, I felt like, you know, I needed to go on record. I mm -hmm. love having this platform, thank God, so people can't, you know, just take little bitty things that I say and, and make it's it seem like thing. I said something whole else. Conversation. Like, yeah, get the whole conversation here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I thank you for listening and I apologize again for this drama that's happening. You know? Yeah, I mean <laughs> sorry. I guess I picked a good weekend to go away. Yeah, you leave for one day and, <laughs> and all hell goes breaks to hell. loose. Literally my phone was on fire yeah. yesterday. <laughs> but if there's one thing I could like, you know, a little you know, call to action after mm -hmm. all this, you know, just be nice on social media. Mm -hmm, Even if mm -hmm. you're trying to make a point, look, the point's been made. The I point know. has been made. There's nothing else anyone can say to any of these people that made these ignorant mm -hmm. mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, so just don't add fuel to the fire. You know?